Pink Dash holt, okay? Ja. Yeah. Good. Good. Is it sore? No. No, not at all. You can tell the truth. <laughs> it's really not, I'm shocked. Tell, tell uh, Rachel what's the sorest part. The plucking. <laughs> Do you think the sorest part is actually plucking your eyebrows? Oh my god, that was almost torture. Thanks for that. So what? <laughs> So Val, what is it you're actually doing just now? What I'm doing is I'm filling in her tail just now. The tail's, tail for me is actually one of the hardest parts to do, believe it or not. I find the front and the middle part the easiest, uh -huh. but the tail can be quite tricky. Why is that? It's quite hard to implant the pigment on the tail. And also, because we're trying to put hairs into a very, very, very small area, it can be a little bit... It's tricky to get into, it's much easier going through the body. What kind of vibes are the second one getting today? She's a hair stroke. And she'll have a top up about 6 to 12 weeks after. It should last a year to a year and a half, probably about a year. Um, if she does good aftercare, she'll get a better result. So a lot of people take the aftercare cream, tell you that they're listening, and then they don't do it, so. So what do you normally recommend for an aftercare? The aftercare cream, I guess, the client away, I give them an A and D vitamin cream. Mm -hmm. And they put it on up to four times a day. Right. And just have to be careful not to use wipes or baby wipes on their eyebrows and just keep them as fresh as possible. So no picking, it's like, a, it is a tattoo. It doesn't go as deep. As a, as, a, as a body tattoo, a body tattoo would go 3.5 millimetres into the skin. This will only go one and a half millimetres. So it is very surface, that's hence the reason they're called semi-permanent makeup. Mm -hmm. But they will, the tattoo will always remain there, even if you can't see it, that tattoo will always be in your skin. So if you were going for an MRI scan or anything, it will show up. Even if, you, even if it's faded out so much, it will still be there. So I'm just putting a secondary anaesthetic on just now and that's just going to numb her up a bit more so we can give her a break for a couple of minutes and while I'm doing that I'll get her to sit up and I'm just going to check my length and my size and things like that. I'm about halfway through so she's still got quite a couple of work to do. Are you looking forward to seeing them? Yes. <laughs> no screaming. No, lovely, they're so nice. Mm. All good brown envy. <laughs> She's actually got, to be fair, she has a lot of hair. And although you would think that makes it easier, it sometimes doesn't because you've got to push the hairs out of the way to do it. So it's, uh, but she has got a good, pretty good brow anyway. So who's this that, like recommended for? Can anyone have it or? This is, is good. It's good for most people. The only people uh, that it's not good for is if you've got really, really oily skin, then you're better to have an ombre brow. Okay. Because that is better for oily skin and big pores. Right, so see somebody who's never heard of an ombre brow, what does that mean? An ombre brow starts off very, very faint and it builds up to colour through the middle and through to the tail. So you end up getting a really, really strong mid and tail a lovely soft front on them, mm -hmm. just like ombre hair, just like a, a shading right through. Um, ombre brows are really sharp, they look really good, but again, you need to top up with that. So it's like, it's like all our eyebrows. What will happen to, to you, Stephanie, with this is over the next four weeks, the brow can look as if it's disappeared, it can look mm -hmm. patchy. Um, so what will happen is 
you can't have anything done even if you thought there was pigment missing she couldn't come back she'd have to wait the full four weeks because you don't see the true color till four weeks so this can look a bit uneven mm -hmm. um after four weeks this is kind of like painting the wall this is your undercoat okay so your top up is actually coming back to get tweaks done for the client to say i want to go darker i want to go thicker so a wee bit less is more it's always better on your first brow Alright, okay, I'm going to set you up, darling. Don't jump okay. up. Okay, we'll, we'll do it. We'll leave it at you back in a little bit. Yeah, yeah. See how you're getting on. You're very so good at interviewing. Did you do an interviewing course? <laugh